19 week bump up date. 19 is my favorite number. It is. It's my birthday number too. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty fun facts over here, but this could mean we're like halfway. Wow. 20 weeks is half of 40. And if I come a week or two early, we're halfway. Wow. Nuts. All right, you want to take a picture of this little bump? Yeah, let's do it. This little boy. Yeah, half yeah. with what? Everything? Uh, everything. Um, okay. So I'll be here next week. I okay, let's to... do it. Boy bump. Polaroids. Two, boy. It's a boy. My back the last few days. Oh, I found out that standing for long hours does not really work when you're pregnant. It's starting <laughs> to hurt. Like when I wake up the next morning, like this lumbar lower back area. Oh my gosh, next level. Flow facts. Whoa, it's almost a human. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> All right, our 19 week update consists of. Our baby this week is the size of a mango. Oh my God, it looks like a person. <laughs> yep, the length is 9.5 inches. It weighs 9.6 ounces. Oh my gosh, I don't have to say it anymore. He. He. He weighs. He weighs 9.6 ounces. Wow. This week your baby is developing, what? Vernix? Vernix Cassiosis. Cassiosa. Sorry, I didn't always speak in Spanish. <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't it I have no idea what it is. That is, this greasy substance covers your baby's skin, giving a layer of protection. It's temporary and will disappear by April 27th. Okay. That's, yeah, that's a fun fact, all right. Probably specific. Cool, it says eat. Phosphorus. Phosphorus, thank you. Not out of light bulbs though. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big week. It's a baby, it's an actual baby boy. That's so crazy. This is, all right, now even I'm gonna have to start filming a video. This is getting real. <laughs> it's not yeah, getting real. Yeah, now that it doesn't look like a fish. <laughs> yes, I think. It's the size of the mango. We know the gender and we're halfway there. Wow, look at us. Congratulations. Congratulations to God, you too. All right, what are we doing? We're about to show our empty nursery. And now that we know that it's a boy, we, we can start like decorating. Yes. And getting okay. ready for it. It's very exciting. All right, we've never shown this before. You ready? Yep. Welcome to our baby's nursery. You almost said the name, didn't you? Huh? You almost said the name, no, didn't you? I okay, didn't. okay, okay. <laughs> no, I didn't. All right, I'm backing up. So, oh my gosh, I'm picturing like the crib over here. And then I'm going to decorate this one to seal adorable. And then I'm gonna ask somebody reading the closet and shelving. May put wood floor in here so it's easy. Nice. Um, maybe shelving here. Dresser situation. And then I would really like. Changing station, where's that going? He goes on top of the dresser. You can just get like ah, okay. a little situation there. I really want a rocker right here so we can look out the window when we sit. Our baby boy. See? Yeah, that'd be real pretty. <laughs> Did we get the image there? Yeah, See? rocking like this. Oh, it's so exciting that we can like actually start envisioning this room. Like I've been trying like not to come in here because I was like, I don't know. But now I'm ready. Now that we know the gender, I'm ready to start this project. So it's gonna be fun. I just on record and personally, <laughs> My only caveat is I want something with Disney tied in, just because I love Disney. Yeah. So we're th I'm thinking like some kind of like animal safari-ish Disney, just because I know you love tans and beiges and Yeah. I also was sense. thinking, we'll have to like get on Etsy and see like what baby Disney, because they always have great stuff. But I also love the like sketch Disney too, like the old, mm -hmm. um, so we can like play with that, like with neutral tones. So we'll have to, Start combining We'll figure ideas. it out. Yeah. We'll, we'll let you in. All right, show them what's in the closet because you've oh, actually oh. started, right? Oh, I've like really started. I haven't brought that in. Yeah, don't. Yes. That, that's overwhelming. What you saw on the Christmas vlog, a whole big bin of things. That'll wait. It's in the guest room. But in here, this one will have to wait. This will be later. <laughs> this is a little girl, maybe next room. But yeah, I've already started collecting little boy things. And then I even have a little blanket. This is really exciting. It's starting. We know the gender and we can start the nursery. And the room reveal begins. <gasps> I'm ready. You should come see this. Maple, what are you doing? 
You're not supposed to be in there. <laughs> Are you in your little brother's room? Are you trying to grab the bear? I haven't tried, but I haven't moved either. <laughs> like I was going to take this bear. No, she walked in there. She, I heard her go in there and I waited a minute. And I was like, what is she doing? That dog hasn't moved for like two minutes straight. <laughs> <laughs> either be bad or be good. <laughs> She's like, I know it's not mine. I know it. I know it. <laughs> So at the gender reveal, some of my girlfriends had brought gifts, which is just so sweet. And I'm very excited to open them. I got instructions for some of them not to be open until after the gender reveal because I would give it away, which is fair enough. Um, but honestly, I'm just very thankful for the girlfriends that I have met here. It's just, it'll be so cool. Cause like they all have, they're all like this little mom group and they obviously all have kids. So it'll be really cool to be Part of the mom group now. What did baby boy get? Oh, cute. We got some books, Mabel. Oh, I loved this one as a kid. Cute, Sawyer, we got baby books. Whoa. Congratulations, we are extremely excited to welcome the new baby into our hood. <laughs> Mabel's absolutely gonna steal this, Sawyer. Oh, I bet. Cute, it's a little, Matching bib and lovey. Maple, this is not yours. <laughs> this one is from my girlfriend who is the keeper of the gender. So she was like, wait <laughs> to open it. Still don't know how she was able to keep it a secret for two weeks. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. And a little sweatshirt that says bubs. Sorry, I don't know why, but I'm about to cry. <laughs> why? Because I just opened this present from Helena. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's okay. I'm here to support you. Well, like, it's the first time that I've, like, opened a boy gift knowing it's a boy. Bugs. We're going to have our own little bugs. Yeah. <laughs> now you know it's a bugs. Yeah, now I know it's a boy. And it's magnetic. And oh. it's... <laughs> Okay. Okay, I think I'm done. I That's think. cool. That's very cute. Thank you, Helena. Yeah, thank you, everyone. This I is... hope our kid's half as cute as Ted. Yeah. And our little bub shirt. Oh, they're oh, gonna be friends. Yeah. <laughs> are you gonna be sweet or are you gonna be mean? I'm gonna be both. I'm gonna be a sour patch baby. <laughs> You're like Daisy. Get out of here. <laughs> Bubs. What do you have, baby? Was you making a run for it with this little girl's dress? Was you making a run for it already? No, ma'am. Oh, dropped it. It's not yours. You snuck into that room and you 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 committed a theft. You snuck in here. You committed a theft. You took it right off the hanger. You're not gonna be able to be trusted in here. Sorry. So tomorrow is Monday the 19th and I leave to head to Utah to finally meet my baby niece, Nora. Uh, my brother and his wife, Miranda, just had their baby about like two weeks ago. My mom is already there. And so I am headed there to go hang out with them and enjoy the newborn phase. And I'm so excited. I'm also really excited because <laughs> Miranda and my mom will be able to teach me a ton of things. I'll kind of get a like a week and a half test run of what to expect in about five months, which is probably a really good idea. It's probably smart that I am doing this. <laughs> so um, let's just say I'm running a little bit behind. In fact, I was actually supposed to leave today. I already pushed my flight because I didn't get as much done as I thought or that I wanted to before. So last night I was like, I need one more day. I'm still running behind, but it's okay. It's all right. So it is now like 5.30, almost 6 p.m. I'm gonna quickly power pack, um, which should be pretty easy, especially being that I just, like just literally finished filming um, my like first maternity haul um, of like everything that I have purchased for my growing bump. So it should be pretty easy to pack. I just want to get that done. So 
I know the main part of my packing is done and I can just do my carry on. Oh, I'm out of breath. Without further ado, let's go ahead and do some power packing. Did, however, find some really cute jeans from Abercrombie, which are in that haul, and I'm very excited about it because they fit so cute. Even Sawyer was like, um, those are adorable. So we love that. We love a good jean find, especially when you have a new bump feature. Because <laughs> finding new jeans is not easy, let me tell you. I've been putting it to the test. <laughs> call some power packing Whew. that should definitely be a good start I know I'll have to like finish all my toiletries and getting all my vitamins together so I will touch base in the morning before I head out to the airport <sighs> but right now I'm just gonna go finish some laundry cook dinner and try to finish up a little things before I leave town for a little bit that feels good to get a base layer packed Good morning, I am up bright and early. Uh, it's about 6.30 a.m. I have to leave here to make it to the airport on time about like seven-ish. So I'm just finishing packing and closing up my suitcase, grabbing some snacks for the plane, grabbing everything that I need when I am home in Utah. I have my electrolyte drink mixes right here. That was very hard to get out. And I also need to get together my vitamins so I have enough while I'm gone. Put these in my suitcase and I will be right back. Ten and two for good measure. <laughs> so I've gotten this question quite a bit as far as like what prenatals I have been taking. And I know I've mentioned this before, many times like over the years when it comes to like vitamins or any type of like um, medicine anything like that first and foremost you have to do your due diligence um, you have to to ask your doctor. Second of all, always have them do blood work and see if a certain vitamin um, or supplement or medication, whatever it may be, works with your body. That's something that's like very important with me because one size does not fit all. Um, but I have been taking Parallel and I've been very happy with it so far. And I actually am teaming up with them for this video, uh, which I'm very excited about for many reasons because again, vitamins are not one fits all and Parallel understands that. In fact, it's the only OBGYN founded prenatal vitamin. I just found that very comforting. When I was doing like my research and reading about the brand, I totally understood and kind of sympathized with what the founders were feeling. They were understanding why you take one vitamin throughout your whole pregnancy when things change throughout your pregnancy. And that actually makes a lot of sense, which is what kind of drew me to Parallel because they have different trimester packs. So they have a first trimester, second trimester, and third trimester. And with each trimester pack, they change to what your body needs during that like part of pregnancy. That just makes a lot of sense because as your body changes, so should your vitamins. So I have here the second trimester pack. It is gluten-free, soy-free, non-GMO. It's third-party tested, and it's a no-nausea formula. I'm a few weeks into my second trimester, and one thing I do like, <laughs> and I have been a big fan of this throughout my pregnancy, it's been like very important to me, anything that I can do to make like my life easier, um, I'm a big fan of, which is why I've been liking the Parallel subscription. So basically, when you sign up for the subscription, you put in like your due date and everything like that, all your information, and they will actually switch your packs accordingly. So when it is time to ship out like your next box and say you're going into your third trimester, they will switch it for you. You don't even need to think about it. You just take your little pack from your box every day and continue until your packs change. I also have here the Parallel Daily Probiotic. This just supports your gut health and your vaginal health. So that's a plus, especially during pregnancy because everything changes in here, you know? Like <laughs> constipation is so much fun, let me tell you. 
Um, love that about pregnancy. Anyways, a, another thing I wanted to touch on is not only do they make a first, second, and third trimester pack, they also make a conception pack. So if you're trying to conceive, they help and support you there, as well as they have a mom multivitamin. So no matter what part of your pregnancy journey you are on, Parallel is there to support you. And I'm here to tell you, it is hard enough during pregnancy to learn everything and like know everything you need to know. So, um, I don't know. I really, really was impressed with how they founded this company, what drove it, and like the research that is behind it. So I have everything I need here for when I am in Utah, plus a few extra, but I do have a code for you. So feel free to use Angelique 20 for 20% 20 off, and you will not be mad about the subscription because it just arrives to your doorstep. You take one pack daily. I'm gonna throw these in my suitcase and zip it up and we'll be on our way. Whew, about to start my trek to the airport and my journey to Utah to go see my new baby niece and I am so excited. I cannot wait to meet her. Oh, they've been FaceTiming me every day and I'm just like, I just wanna hold her. I just can't even tell you how excited I am for my brother and I's kids to be like so close in age and it'll just be adorable. I'm just, I'm over the moon for the chapter of life that like Sawyer and I are in, my brother is in, and like, I don't know, just, it's good. It's a good time. I'm I'm really enjoying life right now, so. Come on, say hi. Yeah, say hi, Miss Meeple. Get them. Oh, perfect timing, that's who you heard, huh? Can we go get a coffee real quick before I have to head out? Awesome. Ready to drive your car? Yeah. Yeah, Sawyer and I did a thing. You'll see. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I know. And then hit set, and then hit one. You're gonna be number one. Way to go! First drive to the coffee shop, complete. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the car is loaded. About to head to the airport at 7.45, almost 7.50. So I should still be good to make it to the airport on time. Thank goodness I am pre-check, but ugh, I always hate leaving Sawyer and the dogs. And he's like, hey, boy, I love you. No, nope, look. Bye. There's Sawyer, Ollie, Maple, and I'm sure Daisy's right there with them. And I'm off. All right, my car's been parked. I have checked my bag. I've gone through security. I got snacks for the plane. Um, I also brought snacks because <laughs> I've been getting very, very hungry. And now I'm gonna figure out where my gate is and board the plane to Utah. Thank you. So I've landed in Utah. I just got off the plane, but <laughs> maybe not the smartest idea to drink a coffee, an electrolyte drink, like a full water bottle, and a protein drink on the drive up and then get to the airport and drink a full water bottle. I've never peed so much in my life. Nor have I ever peed this much at an airport on a plane. Oh my gosh, a lot of breath, surprise there. Also, an aisle seat is key when pregnant. Oh my gosh, my legs got like so stiff. I had to like walk around almost every hour and like move my legs and stretch, so. That was new. Anyways, <sighs> walking to get my bag. Bag retrieved. <laughs> it's still cold here, like really cold. Is that my mom? Oh, that's my mom. Nope. Not my mom. Same car though. It was my mom. She had trees. You weirdo. I was like, what she wants? She didn't want me no, to pick No, I up. didn't. I was <laughs> expecting like Scoot to be in the seat or you. Oh my gosh. It was my mom. I was like, okay, that's not her. Hi. Okay, this makes so much more sense now. Hi. Hi. In general, I didn't know. I was like, oh, that's not my mom. My mom knows me too well. The first thing we did, the first thing she said was, would you want La Hacienda? Do I want La Hacienda? I almost came here without her. I knew I wouldn't be forgiven. <laughs> I literally walked in and I was like, I'm home. <laughs> it's my favorite Mexican restaurant ever. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi, big boy. Hi, Bio. Oh, look at those feet. Oh my gosh. Am I meeting my niece for the first time? <gasps> Her hair, she looks so... <gasps> Oh, you 
Mm -hmm. It doesn't fill out, can you tell? <laughs> the arms. <laughs> she's got, I swear she's gotten longer since I've been here. Oh yeah, she's gotten longer and She does a lot of that. Tootie. Damn it, Tootie Fruity. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're here. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Okay. You don't know this, but I have your cousin in my tummy. <laughs> yeah. Those mitts look like they come in handy. You seem very handsy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very much. That's awesome. Crazy. You guys have a baby. I know. Is that Crazy, weird? huh? Yeah, congrats. Wow. <laughs> Look at you, you're a dad. <laughs> She's pretty cool. <laughs> so my mom and I are venturing into TJ Maxx, which honestly is kind of a dangerous idea, being that <laughs> we came in here to shop for babies. <laughs> we're going to see if anything is needed for Nora, our baby niece, well, my mom's grandbaby. And then we're going to see if anything is cute in here for baby boy. Mom, I already see really cute things. Uh oh, it's right. Oh my gosh, stop. It's a little bunny set. A little bunny tail. It's ridiculous. Is that a Tommy Bahama set? I live in Florida. That just makes sense. I think Nora needs that. Oh, that's a cute little mini set with the oh, strawberries. Cute. I'm getting that one. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Shopping for little babies is fun. <laughs> Very okay with this. Oh, this is cute. Do you see this one? The little sunflowers? The little blanky? Okay, it's also really fun that I have a little niece, so I get to still shop for all the girls' stuff. Now that we're having a little boy, I get to do all the boy things. Best of both worlds at the same time. Look at that. Coco just spoiled her grandbabies with a few cute outfits. I'll do a little show and tell when we get home because there's some cutie ones. Now we actually have babies to buy. <laughs> now it's even more fun. Did you get Papachino? Oh, that's the most perfect video ever. Good boy! Oh my gosh! Dickaroonie! Nice sweetheart! There baby in there! Good morning! We're about to go run some errands and take the little baby out of the house and go play. <laughs> We're gonna go shopping. But I wanted to show you guys what we got yesterday at TJ Maxx. So for a little... What do I got over here? What are you, on bottle service? No, this is... That's, you ready for this? Uh, I don't know. What are you going to do? Well, no. I said, are you ready for oh. it? You have to do this. <laughs> yeah. Get ready, Sawyer. <laughs> they were like going to say, take a sip. I'm like, ah, I don't know about no. that. <laughs> no. them something that they're not. Yeah, I was like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> we picked out some really cute things yesterday. So I'm going to show you what Grandma Coco got baby Nora. We got this adorable like pink plaid little onesie. It's like a little elastic neck and look at the little embroidered fruit on here. It's like crocheted fruit, isn't that? Isn't it like, almost like more crochet, yeah, yeah. That was a must. We got Nora her first outfit to go to Disney World. How freaking cute is that? Look, it says Mickey and Friends. When I pulled this out, Scoot was like, oh my God, that's adorable. We need to go to Disney World right away. <laughs> and then the last little outfit we got for baby Nora is this adorable little like gauzy, um, onesie was this be a onesie i gotta learn all my baby clothes terms yeah it's more of a onesie. like a jumper mm -hmm. little romper it is more of a romper we got a romper situation over here we're going to hawaii for a family trip at the end of april and little nora got cleared to go today she's gonna get her vaccines and everything just in time which is perfect so that was everything for baby nora and then coco also got a few outfits for baby hartman <laughs> uh yes this is mickey mouse my brain went out my mom looked at me and goes Mickey Mouse. Yes. Anyways, I got this adorable little zip up onesie. This I couldn't resist because it's like one of those materials. It's like the, what, the soft jersey knit. Tinsel cotton. Yeah. Yeah, that jersey or tinsel. It is so soft and it has little animals on it. It's kind of fun being able to buy like boys and girl clothes now. Especially as like a grandma, you're like, oh, 
cool, this one's for her. This one will be for him. And then I grabbed this little like set. It comes with striped Show pants. Socks. It's like a little waffle knit. Is it not waffle knit, is it? Good thing you're here. Because <laughs> I. Back up. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> these clothing terms are not coming very easy today. But then look at the bib. It says wild about mommy. That's me. That's a little lion. Lion socks. So cute. Oh, we're so excited. Anyways, good day at TJ Maxx. Good little baby haul. Say thank you, Grandma Coco. You're welcome, all the babies. So last year we had two weddings in the year. Scoot and I both got married last year. And then this year we're having two babies. We like to get things done over here. Yes, we do. We like to check all the boxes as yeah. quick as we can. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> So today is a big day. Today marks my 20 weeks of being pregnant, which is just crazy. So I'm like officially halfway through my pregnancy. Like I go full term to 40 weeks, which is crazy. So 20 weeks of growing baby boy. It's so exciting. Um, yeah, it's nuts. It's also really cool. I get to be here with like my brother, my mom, my sister-in-law, and like kind of share little parts of my pregnancy with them. I saw him, what, uh, it was about nine, 10 weeks. And now at 20 weeks, my brother yesterday was like, whoa, so weird to see you pregnant. <laughs> Which I agree, like I'm starting to like really feel pregnant. Like I caught myself like a glimpse in the mirror earlier today and I was like, whoa, that's nuts. So anyways. 20 weeks today, crazy. We got out of the house today, we're on a walk in the park with little Nora, little family here, even little Bee. <laughs> You're so cute. Good boy, Bio. Hi, Hi. <laughs> so, I may have found some cute things. <laughs> so my mom and I made a quick trip to Target, which hasn't been very quick. It has not been quick, and I think we knew exactly what we were getting ourselves into. Because we're like, ooh, we need to stop into the baby section. <laughs> Let me show you what I found. I found this adorable Mickey set. This is like for a year old, so this is like more of the toddler section. But it's like this gauzy thing. That's a must. And look with the little hat. That's a perfect Florida outfit. Yeah, I know. Look, it's like little green stripes. Your mom, look at this one. For a boating day. For a boating day. <laughs> it's so cute. Wait, look, did you see this little gauzy jumper? That is, oh my God, that right? didn't even be cute without a little shirt. I know, that's what I'm thinking. Like Florida summer, we're here for it. We're ready, newborn. Okay, these are all coming home with me. So today I have been feeling a lot of, I think it's like round ligament pain. Um, I'm very, very like sore right here. And I think my sciatic nerve is starting to like act up. Like today I'm like feeling pregnant. Like it's just super sore when I sit for a while and then like stand up. Um, and if I like move too fast, it kicks in very, very, it's very, very interesting. Um, I had round ligament pain like probably about three, no, no, probably about four or five weeks ago, like right when I think my uterus kind of started moving a little bit, but oh my gosh. But today it's kind of been next level, it's just. But anyways, my brother is super sweet. He was like, why don't you go take an Epsom salt bath and just like soak and like get off your feet. So my bath is ran. Mr. Leo is right here, so. <sighs> Time to relax and get off my feet. There you go. <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> so my mom and I are getting out of the house. We're gonna go get our nails done. It's been th four weeks since I got mine done. How long has it been for yours? To count it, almost you did? seven, I'm pushing seven. Oh my gosh, she's missing nails. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a bad situation, but anyways, we're gonna go get our nails done. But I also- For baby Nora. For baby Nora. Are you gonna get baby pink? I don't know, oh. I haven't done that part. I am, because I always get the same thing. But um, I wanted to share some new pregnancy symptoms that have come to light at my uh, 19, 20 week mark. Um, heartburn. Heartburn is in full effect. <laughs> 
I've never really had heartburn before and before I left I was like it's so weird just like something stuck like right here and Sawyer was like honey that's heartburn I'm like oh we can do it together we both have heartburn together Yay. for different reasons yes. <laughs> in different stages of Mine life happens at the end of life yeah. <laughs> <laughs> apparently menopause is the end of life by the way um, Feels no. like it sometimes. But yeah, heartburn is definitely uh, in full effect, and so is that round ligament pain. Ugh. The last few days, I swear, I've just been trying not to complain, but wow, that's a weird, weird pull, weird sensation, weird, weird. So that's the uh, update on the symptom front. Um, another news. Time to, get the <laughs> time to get my nails done. We talked yeah. about Ooh, this. My birthday's so coming. Yeah, Pink and green. <laughs> When's your birthday? Yeah, it's Patrick's day. day. So I should get green. You should do that. That. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Just do pink. You and I are so different. <laughs> <laughs> like um, <laughs> absurdly different. I venture and stay like right here. And I'm like here. <laughs> <laughs> For a little girl, we have matching pink jammies. And then we've got some for baby Nora too, just oh in case. God. Just in case. She didn't have any. <laughs> They're all matching PJs. That's pretty cute. That's adorable. <laughs> Very cute, mom. <laughs>